Puerto Rico. Yeah. A Puerto Rico. Hey. I'm in love with Mary Jane. So very appropriate. The timing is always just right on Bud's Breakdown. Welcome to another edition of Bud's Breakdown right here on Talking Turfs with District Dabbers right here to my side. Yo. Uh, so this week we're talking about uh, one of the new Griselda uh, Black Soprano family signings. BSF gang. Um, so if you've uh, just kind of been watching and seeing what's going on in hip hop right now, Griselda is, is a major move. Uh, not only signing a distribution deal with Shady Aftermath, but then also signing a That Rock Nation deal. This Rock Nation management deal. We're just going to probably put... The them, title situation in place. You know, all kinds of shit. Like, it's going to start making happen. Like, everybody, like, all of a sudden was like, oh, my God, Buffalo, these Buffalo rappers are the hardest shit ever. We're like, dog, where, where have you been? We Bro, these dudes have been quietly building this empire for years now. Yeah. And they're getting everything they deserve, in my opinion. And, and this addition to the this, team was just a this perfect ex- addition. This is exactly what I'm talking about. This makes exactly. perfect sense. And there's no one, I don't think there's anyone more deserving. Yeah. Because I fuck with the homie RJ Payne. I, I've, I've chatted with this man on so numerous weird. occasions. Okay. He's a very humble dude. Okay. So much respect to him, man. He, he's been co-signed by fucking he's, legends. He actually opened up the new, uh, if you got the new Eric Sermon. Uh, he's the first voice you hear rapping on that shit. So you're like, damn, where are these bars coming from? You've heard him on that. Um, 60 Seconds to Murder, a track, you know. You yeah, 60 like, Seconds, uh, that, that series yo, he had on Instagram is it. fucking legendary. So just off the strength of that, you know, uh, you know, uh, Benny and Black just really just probably just saw and said, yo, this guy is... Just makes perfect sense. And, you know, he can clean up his joints and fit it into... A song, as opposed to a lot of other battle rappers, His, yeah, you know, and, and, and he does, he has a history as a battle rapper. What was he? Was he not like Hot, oh, Rain Man or yeah? He he was Hollow a Man, super duper. Uh, no, no, he's not Hollow Man. What was he, Hollow Man? Uh, but he, you know, what I'm saying he cut his teeth in Philly. He's from Brooklyn originally, uh, but you know he's been rapping, and you can hear it in his style. Uh, but the album is is pretty solid, man. I, you definitely want to give him a check out. This is the uh, the square root. This the square root of a yeah. kilo. The square root of a kilo. This is a crazy. Yo, this the is, artwork for the this artwork, shit is crazy. Oh my god! So it brings back so many like vibe. Um, he doesn't even have like the name of the shit on it. It's just drugs. With the <laughs> just <laughs> killed it. Just killed it. Yo, it's very hard to find just for that reason. Because people it. don't want to carry it, right? They're like, we don't want to carry that, even though the world is whatever it is. All right, so. They don't care. They're going to move the numbers themselves, and people are going to go crazy just to well, buy the wax you know, version of it. The album is good, man. It, it starts off, you know, he has like a, a basically his huge co sign, Doo Wop, Feral Munch, uh, Buck Wild. Everybody's just kind of like, yo, bigging this guy up. Uh, he could definitely spit. Um. He has like 38 special in there. Makes a nice Fuck cameo. with the homie special. Oh, uh, yo. He has Elzai on his joint. If you listen, if you remember uh, Slum Village, you remember Elzai. He was there for a little bit and kind of split off and did his own thing. Uh, overall, this joint really gets, um, you know, you're gonna, you know what you're getting with RJ Payne. It's hardcore rap, it's hard beats. You're not getting any singing joints. You're not getting. Nothing for the radio. This is Griselda's stamp. You see the cover. It's gritty, grimy. So if you on the corner, if you bagging up, if you just need some grimy shit to listen to to remind you at home, um, this shit is for you. This shit is hard. These are hard consistently throughout the whole album. Griselda is really holding it down. Uh, Who's some of the producers we looking for on this project? Yo, it's, it's not even... It's not even a situation where the producers' names are gonna ring any bells right now. So that doesn't matter. The bars no, carry the tape the, all the way. The bars just really elevate the whole project. You know, I was just curious to see. You know, uh, so I, Darren just not on there at all. Though Darren just got to be on there, no? Wow. Okay. Well, that's coming. I mean, but that's you know, it's he's coming. He's trying to be his own man. Like, yeah. you know, that's what I like about. I, I actually saw him promoting artists of his own as well. See? Cause he's been on so Cause long. Cause he's been doing his doing his doing his exactly. thing already for so a while. So he's taking people under his wing. All right, so we gotta uh, check this out. So we got, um, you know, we've been talking. Uh, so before we wrap up, gonna get this album, uh, R.J. Payne, definitely a solid 
Oh, we're gonna get us a solid three duchess. You know, man, solid three duchess, even with the with the wordplay. Yo. No, no, that sounds like an no, like honest. I mean, I trust Buds. It's, it, it's I trust his, Buds. It's his first album. It's just kind of repetitive, <coughs> and it it doesn't have a lot of diversity in tempo. It's just really just this one vibe. I got you. And if you're not in that so it's vibe, that cadence. It's, it's the cadence you're it, telling me, you right? Know, so it's it, pretty it, much that same cadence all the way it's, through. It's it's it just gets you're like ah. Oh, yeah, okay. Kind of like, a, if I could liken it to anything, maybe like a, a Cassidy. Oh, maybe, maybe. Right? All right, maybe. So we're going to give it a... But I'm a, just trying to like... No, no, I mean... I I'm not exactly trying to play them at all. No, I'm just no, saying no, where, you know, like, where, where the sound just, you're like, I need something a little different. Yes. Got it. Yo. Maybe I mean, a record for the bitches. Yo, it might, it might be your, like your roll-up song. It might be your, your... But there's two kilos on the cover, so you're yeah. supposed to just expect raw bars. So you're right? supposed to just expect raw yeah. bars. So that's what it is. If you want raw bars... Yeah, this is your dose. This is your dose. There's this no is, mumbling going this on is here. It. This is no mumble, no auto-tune, none of that stupid shit. It's just raw bars, talking bars. about raw shit. So, like I said, Honest Three Dutches right here. Um, Respect. While we talk about honesty, yo, we, this there's been this shit that's been going on crazy all week. Um, the sandwich. The motherfuckers have just been going crazy over this fucking Popeyes, right? So supposedly everybody has been tweeting and re- fucking it's on regramming my and all it. this. I did it. Damn. Shit. So I'm like, damn. So Do I've it, seen bro. I've seen some nutty shit like people have been. Uh, signing people up to vote while they're waiting for the sandwich. That's I was, brilliant. I was like, yo, that is where it's fucking That's at. grassroots right there. That is where you fucking take it. Bernie, get in that fucking Popeye's line, dog. But you can't because the fucking chicken sold out. So Popeye is, is not in this fucking game to win. They just conceded. Unless this is their <coughs> whole plot. Because look, <coughs> their secret is they were just trying to hook everybody to download their fucking app. Oh. So listen here. But so check this tell, out, bro. So you have to use the app now to find out where the sold out chicken is. So look, bro, I'm, I got to say this, man. You're a chicken company. Can, 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 sell the chicken. Can I say this about the Popeye's thing? It's bullshit. Go ahead. On all the commercials, the boss of Popeye's is that wonderful black lady that we all love, right? We, In we, real life, the boss wish. is this white lady, a CEO. Mm. So, you know, just take that into, you know, consideration. Like, at the end of the day, Popeye's, fucking KFC, all of those... Are, 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 these are all big fucking mega monster mega machines, cobras. right? That are probably oh, controlled donating, by the Russian no, mafia. And no, that are probably donating to fucking to, to com- campaigns that you're not even fucking with. Oh, of course not. <laughs> Manipulating us, fighting it, <laughs> turning black people against At Popeyes the end of the and Chick fil A. You in line to get that fucking heart attack and die, my nigga. I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm not either. I have not done it. You didn't try it? No. I can't. That's I refuse. Really okay. That shit is really okay. But I'm not going out. I'm just not going to. If, not, if not in my life I come across a circumstance that I'm like, eh, let me try this sandwich, I will. It's all good. But it's not a pair of Jordans. I'm not pressed for this shit. And since they sold out, right. they're, they're losing. So, like, your chicken company. Your, your and shit and is again, they Popeye's win again. They, they, they the win hype, again, bro. They're building the hype. They you win again it. because we're talking know, about them this right hype. now. But they're going to play themselves. It's a marketing play. They win again because we're marketing for them. They did yeah. it yesterday on Pizza like, Show. It's back. It's back. Yeah. But you know why mm. Chick Fil A? This is their though? McRib. Do you know why Chick Fil A's upset? <coughs> why? Because it's bun pickles chicken. Yeah, I know. And nobody else does that except Chick Fil A. Oh, they think they're biting. But exactly. And it's you know, blatant you know what? swagging. You know they That's southern. Jack That's swagging. southern style. I went to Chick Fil A yesterday. That's you know southern what they style. Had? What? Mac and cheese. You know what? Chick Fil A also yep. doesn't have. Food on Sunday, so fuck Chick Fil A. We out of here, yo. Boss. Yo, look, man, boss. it's all concerns with District Dabbas. This is a Buds breakdown. You are what we doing? Square root of a kilo. RJ Payne, three Dutches, solid shit. Great intro. Look for this kid. He's gonna do great things. There's no West Side Gun. There's no Benny on the album. There's no Conway. But it's just RJ Payne, 38 Special, and some other cats. Dark Low. It's cool. But you know. If you want some other shit, you do what you do. All right. If you want to hear more reviews of Bud's Breakdown, make sure you subscribe, like, comment. Post notification. All that shit. Post notification. Is my shit on it? My shit is right there. Yo, you right there, bro. You're famous. You're fucking famous, okay? Right right there. Yo. Look, man. This is the deal. At the end of every show, we're going to do this, and I love this new thing we're doing, bro. It's fucking dope. 
So look, man, it's Talking Turks with District Dabbers. This is my, my motherfucking partner in crime here on this journey every fucking week. Make sure you guys tune in every Tuesday, 9 to 10 p.m., man. It's your boy, Jay All Day. Holla at your guala. If you're from Australia, holla at your koala, you heard? A trick suck it, cause I'm so in a pipe. So here comes a shot from a troop to my peoples. See no. <laughs>